Medical Learners. I am Dr. Prashant Gautam. Today, we shall learn about the role of local bodies in tourism. In your previous course on tourism, you have been made aware of the role of local bodies in destination planning and development. So after this today's unit, you will be in a position to appreciate the significance of local bodies in the developmental process. You will understand the role of local bodies in tourism marketing. You will appreciate the importance of local bodies in maintaining and promoting the destinations. And you will know about the services that the local bodies should provide in tourism for strengthening the product. Dear learners, tourism is a phenomena, it's a phenomenal industry which brings not only socio-economic development but also improves the infrastructure. According to the economic survey of 2011-12 uh, even, the tourism industry creates a multiplier effect and also generates both direct and indirect jobs for the local community. The jobs vary from most unskilled to highly specialized skills. Tourism generates a lot of jobs throughout the world. In India too, tourism generates numerous jobs opportunity as in case of the world. In India, for every 1 million money invested generates numerous jobs opportunities. For every 1 million invested create 47.5 directly and generate 85 to 90 jobs indirectly as compared to the manufacturing sector which creates only 12.6 jobs. Believe tourism is the third largest foreign exchange earner after the gems and jewelry and ready-made garments sector. In 2015, tourism's annual growth was 4.5% and if we talk about the number of foreign tourists arrival that has crossed this last year 15 million mark. In case of the domestic tourism departure, the outbound traffic growth is somewhere about 9 to 11% and the domestic tourism it has shows this huge growth and more than 1500 million domestic tourists they visited. Even tourism industry that has increased the foreign exchange earning which has annual growth is somewhere between 8 to 10 uh, percent. Also the country's position in Asia Pacific region in is has been in increasing and it's 5 to 7 in in uh, terms of the receipt during the in 2018 to 20. India is in now 14th place in world in terms of the receipts. India is receiving a maximum number of tourists from United States followed by Bangladesh, United Kingdom, Sri Lanka, Canada, Malaysia, Australia, Germany, France and Japan. All these top 10 nations they account for 62.52% of the total foreign tourist arrival to India. In India there is a great emphasis at the central level on the promotion of tourism to help the country to integrate with the global economy. However, the same priority is absent when it comes to integrating the local or state level economies with the national economy. Result is that many reasons with tourism potential have remained underdeveloped. On the other hand, over tourism products have not emerged in our culture and needs. This has resulted in poor takeoff along with the emergence of antagonisms between the tourist and the local population or between the tourism industry and the local body. Generally, in all decision making on tourism, the local bodies and local population generally it is being ignored. However, if we keep in view the developmental role of marketing, the importance of local bodies in the implementation of the tourism projects, maintenance of destinations and facilities, etc. become critical to their success. Today's this discussion will take us into account the role of local bodies in tourism marketing. Before this, let's briefly understand about the concept of destination planning. The Government of India's National Action Plan for Tourism identified 15 circuits of destination for concentrated development. Beside, this plan proposed to notify a few special tourism areas for integrated development of tourism facilities. It was mentioned that the proposed special tourism areas will be similar to the scheme of setting up notified export processing zone designed to give a fillip to industries creating to export promotion. The selected special tourism areas would have identifiable boundaries notified by the state government where land will be adopted for hotels and tourism related industries at 
concessional rates to prospective investors according to the master plan prepared. A special area development authority would be constituted by the state government to administer the special tourism area with a full delegation of power under different statutes of the state government. The social area development authority would provide basic infrastructure support such as airport and airline services, railway stations, communications network and post telegraph and banking services. Both the central and state government would grant exemption from specified central of the state taxes and freeze rates on water and electric supply for at least for 10 years to attract investment. The scheme for setting up of these special tourism areas was approved in a resolution adopted by the Conference of State Tourism Ministers held in New Delhi 10th of December 1991. The selection of special tourism area would be done by the central government in consultation with those state governments who are willing to offer the maximum facilities for the successful functioning of such special tourism area. Dear learners, special efforts will be made to attract foreign investment in these areas. A scheme for giving assistance for specified tourism areas or which is known as ASTA will be started to provide financial assistance for equity and other tourism related activities in such areas as are specified by the government. Such a policy statement bypasses the role to be played by local bodies in these areas for tourism development, the local bodies like municipalities, panchayats, etc. have always been ignored in tourism planning and development. The local bodies reflect the aspiration of the community and are directly accountable to local needs. Hence, it is the local body to ensure that the motivation for tourism development remains people-centered and benefit of tourism empower local communities rather than displacing or disinheriting them. In any destination planning, the local bodies have a crucial role. Ignoring them has led to and if it is continuous, will again lead to a variety of problems related to guest host relationship, destination life cycle, destination management and so on. Infrastructure support like electricity, water, roads, street light, public park, sewage, sanitation, etc. is provided by the local body. This has a direct relationship with destination development and promotion. But this fact is not often taken note of by the tourism industry as well as the center or state government. To quote, for example, in master plan for tourism development in Maharashtra, which has been prepared by the state government, the entire range of factors that determine tourism development have been addressed like the administrative machinery, transfer of land, transportation, tax exemption, ecology, etc. An entire 84 kilometers stretch of coastline from Bijay Durg to Sindhu Durg Fort has been declared as a special tourism area. The state has identified nine district level special tourism areas of its own. Under the central and state schemes, the following issues have been raised by the national and international experts in case of the Maharashtra. Exemption from electricity duty, luxury tax, sales tax and octroi freezing of electricity and water charges. These concessions have been given by the state cop to private investors for five years and by the center for 10 years. Land belonging to Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation, MTDC and the government can be leased to investor for 30 years at 25% of the market value in urban area and 21.2% of the administrative cost as a lump sum payment. The remaining 75 will be recovered at the rate of 15% or 5% of the turnover whichever is higher. In rural area, land is marketed value as plus 10%. Administrative charges will be taken as a lump sum and notional fees charges of rupees 1 per year. 5,000 acres have been earmarked for tourism and 3,000 acres have been accessed by MTDC. While this scheme benefits the private investor, local opposition to special tourism area, golf, theme park, etc. by agriculturists, fisher folk and artisans is likely to create a new set of problems.
This indicates that local body like municipality, panchayat and tourism boards are not involved at the planning stage. Foreign investors and international tie-ups for seven beach resorts will take control over development and its spec will be that the initiative goes out of the hands of the local community and the residents. In much the same fashion, the state, the government is also a poor second to the center. Yet it is burdened with the task of infrastructure development and coordination of sectoral activity. In urban areas, land ceiling regulations will access surplus lands for hotel projects while residents will be squeezed into smaller and smaller areas as seen in the Bombay Charles. MTDC properties will be prioritized with an impact on employment of the existing workforce which has been deemed insufficient and unprofessional. The plan stresses consumer protection laws which again indicate that in the global economy, the consumer's rights are more important than the rights of the local people. The local bodies and communities are not treated as equal player in tourism development. It should not be forgotten that apart from the mainstream services, the role of local bodies is essential in ensuring the safety and security of the tourist at the site and controlling, regulating and standardizing the informal sector doubts. The tourism industry regularly keeps complaining about the failure of local bodies to do what they ought to be doing but fails to come forward for joining hands or sharing even 1% of its profits with the local bodies or population for destination, development and maintenance. Similarly, the local bodies lack initiative and resources in developing, maintaining or promoting their destinations. It is time that the examples of the role of local bodies in many other countries be analyzed regarding their intervention in tourism development by the planners with an emphasis on Panchayati Raj. It is expected that local bodies will have a better say in their affairs. At the same time, their functionaries would require more knowledge and information about tourism. This is because in most of the cases, the elected representatives on, on the local bodies as well as the bureaucracy are not sensitized to the needs of the tourism and the demand it is likely to make on the resources of that particular area. The awareness about tourism and its functioning is also very low. Dear learners, let's now study some of the role of local bodies in marketing. In tourism, the customer experience, the tourist, the product and the total environment surrounding that product is integral to that experience. Take for example Agra as a destination. The attraction here include the famous Taj Mahal, Fort Sikandra and Fatehpur Sikri etc. The tourists come to see these attractions but they also experience the condition of the roads, pollution, garbage, beggars, doubts and shopping malpractices. On the other hand, those in the informal and the small scale sector often have negative perceptions about tourists. The result is that an excellent tourism attraction becomes a bad experience. Thus, in the marketing terminology, the tourism product has to be designed, developed and maintained by taking into account all such factors. In all countries, the primary role of local bodies in facilitating tourism recreation and leisure is well documented. Just to quote an example of England, Individual towns, cities and districts have established their local tourism offices for promoting tourism to their area. And this has the backing of the local body and authority. They organize special events, undertake promotional activities and establish tourist information centers. This information centers they provide tourists with the information like bus or flight timings, accommodation places, eating joints, festivities, entertainment, sightseeing, etc. They play a dual role. On the one hand, they facilitate and serve the tourist and on the other, help the local guest houses, lodges, paying guest houses, transporters and other informal sectors serving and getting businesses. These local bodies not only have a say in tourism development and marketing, but they provide the linkage between the tourism industry and the host population. Dear learners, in India, the state and elected bodies have a greater role in the developmental process. The private sector has, by and large, 
kept itself aloof from sharing social responsibility. But we are often functioning in a highly centralized and a rigid model where higher authorities tend to monopolize the decision making and implementation role in all economic areas. For example, even a district label tourist information center as a part of the state tourism department with little or no linkages with the Jila Parishad or any other district level body. Tourism demand that the initiative be localized for a wider distribution of benefits. But this localized initiative has to have wider linkages from destination marketing. If the two do not act in harmony, the following problems are envisaged. This drains their resources, often diverting them from more immediate concerns. In such a situation, a destination may never take off. There might emerge a hostility to the project among the local population, etc. Hence, the local bodies become equal player in tourism. They can take care of a variety of uh, things such as assess local responses, give technical advice to the locale, create tourism awareness in the area, organize special event, patronize artisans and artists, help in forming cooperatives of the providers of tourism services at the destination, provide the tourist as well as the outside intermediaries information about the available accommodation etc and assist with market research through compiling or making available the data related to the destination and data related with the visitors etc. The local ladies have to take care of the resource attraction problem. They also play a good role. Even the local body, which is often a major hurdle in their work. They need people. They need volunteers. They need audiences and they need funds. The funding is largely through tax collection and government grants. They must go for fundraising campaigns among the local beneficiaries of the tourism industry and also the tourists. However, this needs a planned and organized approach. The local body should also research the people's feelings and reactions towards the tourism projects they undertake and simultaneously go for motor drive, publicity, retention of public interest and sensitizing their employees. Tourism education and the training is another area which the local bodies can look into. The local bodies must also evaluate the infrastructure and determine the carrying capacity of the destination. Here learners, local participation in tourism development is also required. Local people, they are the stakeholders and these stakeholders, they play an important role in tourism sector. And the role of locals is very important in tourism as they participate in the tourism activity and anything which impacts tourism has a direct consequences on them. Also, in tourism, his role is vital as his attitude and behavior directly impact the tourism activity in the area. So whenever the tourism planner and policy maker are thinking of developing a destination, they must and they should always give an important role to the local people. Because the success and the failure of tourism activity directly depends on him. Moreover, if local community is involved, he always plan things which improve his vicinity as well as his socio-economic state. public and private and voluntarily as potential leaders, contributors or funders of tourism projects. All people of the community are touched by the positive and the negative impacts of the tourism as a core part of both 
the local culture and the offer of hospitality. These community tourism products and services are generally, it consists of small enterprises and wild survival alone, but which together create a destination. These small businesses are the core of community tourism experiences. They give several communities the chance to get involved in the tourism industry and allow the benefits of tourism to be distributed throughout the communities, throughout the local communities. This provides a sole chance to grow and improve the tourism products in a particular area. It's a form of tourism run by and for the local communities. It may be another in character or may provide for larger number and have more in common with the aspects of mass tourism. It can even be related with organized packages and even coach travel. Whereas businesses benefit from tourism. Residents frequently associate it with the negative impacts like congestion, litter, overcrowding, high prices, depletion of the natural resources, modifications of locals, overuse of resources, etc. Even everywhere the industry is recognized as an essential component of the local economy, the tourist may still be disliked. This fragile balance highlights the necessity for communities to play a crucial or important active role in tourism development in local area. Dear learners, let's sum up the this today's discussion the importance of local bodies as they are still the implementing tourism products becomes apparent only when we view the developmental role of marketing and that's true by the local bodies in a country like india we have certain social objectives to be realized along with economic and political goals the best example of delhi heart identify that a local body has centrally ignored the planners and policy makers and the union. Recently, even in some places, the hotel workers have shown a similar sense of involvement in the functioning of tourism enterprises. The destination is neutral of any marketing approach in tourism along it the customer's satisfaction. The host population and local bodies have an actual tail and status that will tell the customer tourism and they must be according to the product design. So this way, the local bodies, they play an important role in the marketing of the tourism, the market of the tourism product, marketing of the tourism services, because tourism is better known as a local industry. When it is known as the local industry, then it must be supported by, involved by and run by the local people. Thank you very much.